Hello everyone, Shiny of Shiny and Charlie here, and I am coming at you guys with a video. Um, I, if you followed me before, you do know that I am an avid gardener. But I just want to come and do this video because I'm very passionate about gardening. Um, I just moved into this home about three months ago. I have, I've been just so busy with the moving and other things that I haven't been able to really put any time into my garden. And I have been asking people to till my ground for me since I with me buying another bird and everything I don't have six hundred dollars to just give someone to till my ground for me and I will show you guys I have a lot of lots here that came with my home so I have a lot of ground for gardening that came with my home but the problem is it's never been the ground has never been tilled or worked before so I doubt that I'll be able to get all of it um, tilled up this year it'll probably be within the next couple of years before we can get all this ground before i can get all this ground broken up but you know me one monkey don't stop no show i always have a plan b and my plan b is container gardening i encourage everyone out there to grow a garden there's nothing like growing your own food some of the um, I did this video to show you guys an alternative to if you don't have land or if you are like me you have land but you don't have anyone to till up the the land for you or you don't have the equipment to till the land up yourself um, if you live in an apartment I mean you can do this right on your balcony um, the alternative is container gardening I have it even if you just start something really simple with one tomato plant or one cucumber or whatever you do, start a garden. I so if you have never tasted a vegetable from straight from your garden to your mouth or straight from your garden to your dinner table, you are doing yourself a disservice. Vegetables in the stores taste, even the organic veggies, taste nothing like what comes out of your garden. So it is absolute tomatoes straight from the garden. Oh my God, lettuce straight from the garden. Oh my God, cucumbers straight from the garden. Oh my God, so I'm telling you guys, grow a garden. You are doing yourself a disservice if you're, if you're not. So I just wanna encourage you to just grow a garden. So without further ado, I guess I'll show you guys how you can contain a garden um, or garden without having to put everything in the ground. Or All right, so I do try to maintain the theme of being organic here um this is what i use whenever i put soil in containers this stuff is the best a lot of people don't don't like miracle grow a lot of people in the gardening community community don't like miracle grow i don't like miracles miracle grows their regular soil but i do like their um their raised bed soil because it is if you can read that 100 percent organic and it all right and i have two excuse my shadow i have two types of containers that i use this barrel container i like it just because of the way that it looks especially if i'm going to have it in my front yard it looks really good and if you're going to use the barrel container i think it's 20 gallons i believe it's either 20 gallons or 16 gallons if you're going to use a barrel container make sure you poke holes in the bottom of it because it doesn't this one right here didn't come automatically with holes in the bottom and if you don't poke holes in the bottom of your containers you will drown your plants you will drown your seeds so make sure if you're container gardening make sure it already has holes in it if it doesn't already have holes in it get like a screwdriver or a knife or a drill or something and make some holes in it the second one I use are these um, smart pot grow pots and this is a 20 gallon pot it looks like this because I did use it last year I have probably about 50 of them <laughs> yeah I have about 50 of them so I'm well prepared if I never get my garden my ground tilled I'm well prepared to do my entire yard container only so I'm, I'm prepared for that so those are the two containers that I use so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in I'm going to fill the containers and I'll show you guys what I do with the plants feel like you can win and it makes you say oh, yeah. I can take it and oh, yeah. when things get better oh, yeah. I'm so frustrated but it's gonna be okay you got someone in your car So 
let's get this tomato planted and I do apologize about my shadow I hope you guys can see everything with tomatoes what I do is I take all the bottom leaves off I already took the other ones off and I dig a hole and that cow manure that nitrogen I put it in the hole um, one thing about tomatoes is it has this root down here but it has these hairs going up and down the stem however deep you you plant your tomato plant that's as strong it's going to be because what's going to happen is even though all this is going to be under the dirt there are going to be new roots that are going to shoot out from here so the stronger the root system the stronger the plant so plant your tomato plant deep Right, guys so you can actually get a lot in this one container I have completed it this one container here has of course the tomato plants around the rim of this container I have carrots and lettuce planted there I have some borage planted there I have um and some basil planted there with some marigolds and I know you're like that's a lot for such a small plot pot but you can grow an entire salad in a container garden and I'm just going to try to break it down as, as best as I can in the in the shortest amount of time that I can this tomato plant here I put it in the middle because I have the carrots and lettuce around the the edge of it and the beauty about companion planting with tomatoes and lettuce is um, the fact that they don't complete, compete for nutrients. Remember how um, deep we buried that tomato plant? So those roots are continuing to grow down. Um, lettuce do, does not have um, long roots. And the tomato plant, as it grows up, it will begin to shade the tomato plant from the sun. So each plant is going to use each other. The carrots, what they're going to do is they're going to open up the root system for the tomato. So each plant in here is going to help each other. It's going to help it. The borage that's in here is going to ward off the tomato hornworm as well as attract bees to the tomato plant so the tomato plant can be pollinated. Um, the reason I know this as a fact is that you look online, it says it hasn't been scientific proven but the reason I noticed as a fact is one year I did not use borage I did not plant borage next to my tomato plants and the tomato hornworms completely destroyed my tomato plant they ate them all up I could not get rid of them fast enough until I bought this other stuff called BT um also um the bees really really out of all the flowers in my garden once the borage started blooming the bees just stayed on it so I know that it works my I can honestly say that my tomato plants even tasted better being planted with the borage next to it the um marigolds would do the same thing they're supposed to help ward off the tomato hornworm I they didn't alone that one year it didn't work but it's always good to have um, marigolds planted next to whatever you plant so I had to have some marigolds and like I said you can you can do a complete salad you have your tomatoes you have your carrots you have your um, tomatoes you have your tomatoes you have your carrots you have your lettuce um, you have your basil if you like basil in it you have your um, marigolds and borage if you like flowers if they are both edible flowers i also in another plant i have some peppers and some um chives planted next to my tomato plants and so that's a, a, a um a salad right there so you can do a complete all your salad ingredients a, a basic salad just in one container i mean it's awesome Okay family, so I got really, really busy in the garden and I did not record a lot of things that I did, but I think I got enough for you to get the gist of how to contain a garden. I want to show you guys, if you are containing gardening and you are starting from seed, um, 
look for I'm hoping this focuses look for this on the back of your um, seed packet it says container friendly and so that's how you know that it'll work really really well in the container and all this needs is um, a 12 uh, um, 12 inch container um, that's all you need and it, it and when it has container friendly on the back of it it shows you the size container that you need see that there so but um yeah if you have any questions continue to follow me on my gardening journey because i did a lot today i still got a lot to do it's only i don't even think it's noon yet i still have a lot to do so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to just press play and just record everything that i'm doing today and i'll just break the videos down um later on for you guys and as things as these containers that i planted today as they begin to grow i'm going to um um let, let you guys follow me on how well they grow and how well they do and different things that I use um, as they begin to grow um, how I begin how I start feeding them but thank you so much guys for watching and as usual you bye-bye guys so thank you so much for tuning into my channel remember to like to comment to subscribe and to share remember to subscribe that's very very important so you don't miss any future videos and hit that bell anything else you want to see on this channel please comment down below let me know and i'll be more than happy to oblige thank you so much for watching and as usual to see you the next one bye bye